first behavior is place. Here you can see Emily using that lure hand, that pocket with the food in it, to get Rex to climb onto our place board. At home, you could use a dog bed, a blanket on the floor, anything your dog can comfortably fit their body on. She then uses the closed hand, which Rex stares at appropriately, to get a second of duration and then releases him from the behavior after his reward. Place is an invaluable behavior because we're teaching our dog to stay on an item, such as a dog bed, the place cots that we tend to use outside, a blanket on the floor, a kitchen mat if you're at someone else's house. Anything that can fit their body on comfortably can be a place. We are going to use that lure hand to get the dog onto the item. Then we're going to use that closed hand that we've taught them to stare at to build some duration. We're going to mark and reward. Here we see Emily rewarding multiple times to continue to build upon that duration with Rex. Rex begins to offer the behavior on his own, which shows us that Emily has built up the value of the behavior of getting onto and staying on that place cot. Here, Emily is demonstrating with Wiz how to build some more duration for the dog to stay on their place item. As you see, she is marking and rewarding Wiz for staying on the place cap. She's also adding a little bit of movement on her part because we're not going to want to stand and stare at our dogs the entire time they're staying. We want place to be functional. We want to be able to put our dogs on their place while we eat dinner or while we watch TV or during coronavirus while we work from home. We want to make sure we're rewarding frequently, especially in the beginning of teaching this behavior. We really want the dog to understand it is worth their while to stay on their place item. This will come in handy later when we begin to add more distractions in the environment around the dog while they are on place. Again, Emily is using that closed hand to get the dog to stare at her hand and then opening her hand when she reaches the dog's mouth. That way the dog feels like it is room service. There's no reason for Wiz to get up or leave the place cap to go get the food from Emily. Emily's going to deliver it right to her mouth. Here we see Sydney with Lando. Lando's place behavior is a little further along, so she is able to send Lando to his place cap from a distance and have him wait there for a moment before he is rewarded. Lando happens to be available for adoption from Midwest Working Dog Rescue, just in case you're interested.